I'd like to provide the American people with an update on our efforts to protect the integrity of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly, but a lot of votes came in late. I've already decisively won many critical states, including massive victories in Florida, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. To name just a few, we won these and many other victories despite historic election interference from big media, big money, and big tech. As everybody saw, we won by historic numbers. And the pollsters got it knowingly wrong. They got it knowingly wrong. We had polls that were so ridiculous, and everybody knew it at the time. There was no blue wave that they predicted. They thought there was going to be a big blue wave that was false, that was done for suppression reasons. But instead, there was a big red wave. And it's been properly acknowledged, actually, by the media. They were, I think, very impressed. But that was after the fact. That doesn't do us any good. We kept the Senate despite having twice as many seats to defend as Democrats. Without, I hope, being too presumptuous or taking too much for granted, my biggest concern now is that you go to the poll on November 4th. In times such as these, when the right to vote, the right of free election, is under assault all over the world, I really don't see how anyone can stay at home on election day. Quiet, quiet. <laughs>